I just made a machine so powerful, even someone in creative can't escape it. Uh, I'm gonna regret inventing this, aren't I? I'm literally just stuck. There's nothing I can do. I am forever and always loading terrain. I call this the Phantom Zone, a Minecraft prison designed specifically for players in creative mode. Now let's break this down, shall we? But first, if you think this is cool, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. This video took a lot of time and effort. Anyway. Alright, so the primary basis for this farm is that you want boats to be inside this portal filled with chickens. And I would like to emphasize right now, do not use chickens for this. Use parrots instead. Chickens lay eggs, which if you're very unlucky could eventually break the farm. You want the boats to be aligned up against this block right here. Just push the boats up against this block. And there's three boats here and out the back here you want to use pistons to push these blocks into place. And make sure you cover up the sides so they don't get pushed in the wrong spot. And as soon as they come through this portal, the boats will push them and they'll fall and touch this string. Now it's very important that they fall so they cannot be flying when they enter this machine. And it'll activate these observers, which just activate the pistons here using some target blocks, but them activate from the observers. And then they both feed into the main circuit here. And this storage system right here is just for extra flint seals so that it never runs out. This is excessive, realistically. This should last for months. And this exact same system is copied over on the nether side, and we need this portal to be unlit. Otherwise, they would just end up coming through this portal and none of this would work. This portal up here serves the purpose of being a chunk loader to keep the redstone from breaking by being repeatedly loaded and unloaded. And it's also ideally the portal you want to use to restock the flint and steels on the nether side. I will link a chunk loader design by Dark down below, it's the best design I've ever come across. And then over here we have our failsafe. This is two chunks over from the chunk loader, and this armor stand will not be loaded by the chunk loader, so it'll just freeze up here and no longer activate the skulk sensor whenever the player is logged out and it will immediately detect when they log in and activate the system. Just have the timings here like that. It's all just like that. And this over here is my friend Albert. He basically is just here to save me if I accidentally get sucked into the vortex. I just use a command in the terminal to teleport me to Albert if I ever get stuck. It's the best way to save myself when I don't know which dimension I'm going to be in. Over here on the nether side you can get a better look at what the circuitry looks like. Just a general idea of how it's supposed to be, how it should be aligned and everything. We got this. And as you saw, as soon as I switched back to creative mode it detected me and activated the system. The purpose of that is that if the prisoner were to log out, the machine will immediately reactivate once they log back in. And yeah, that's about it. Go nuts, over to throw some corrupt admins. See ya!